Hello everyone, welcome back to Code with Row. If you're new here, make sure to hit subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any updates. Today we're diving into a fun and visually appealing aspect of CSS, the box shadow and text shadow properties. These features can really elevate the look of your web pages, and I'll show you how to use them step by step, so let's get started. First, let's talk about the box shadow. CSS box shadow property allows you to add shadow effects around an element's frame. It can give your elements a 3D look and help them stand out on your page. So here's an example of a basic syntax. So horizontal offset and vertical offset determine the shadow's position relative to the element. Blur radius controls how blurry the shadow is. Spread radius decides how much the shadow spreads out from the element. And color defines the shadow's color. So in our first example, let's go over to our index.html. Make sure you have your style sheet referencing to your CSS file, which is style.css in my case. And in our body, I'm going to add a div class of a simple shadow. And for the text, I'll do this is a box with a simple shadow. And I'll end the div here. So now you'll see when I hit save using our live server environment, it'll show up on the right here. And for the CSS, I'm just gonna erase everything inside and I'll do dot simple shadow, which is our class selector in our CSS as we've talked about before. And I'll do a width of 200 pixels and a height of 100 pixels. And for the background color, I'll make it sky blue. And then for the box shadow, Let's do five pixels, five pixels, 15 pixels, and then an RGBA, and in parentheses, I'm gonna do 0, 0, 0, 0 0.5. And now when I hit save, you're gonna see an example of a sky blue box with the width and height, or with the width of 200 and the height of 100. And now the box shadow is shown as a five pixel with five pixel and a 15 pixel. So now for a text shadow, the syntax is actually very similar as shown. So we just changed it to text shadow instead of box shadow and it'll show the horizontal offset, vertical offset, blur radius, and the color. So let me go back and leave the box shadow one right above this one, just so we can visually see. So for example, the five pixel is the horizontal offset, and then another five pixel for vertical offset, 15 pixel for blur radius, and then the spread radius and the color is gonna be black and with a 0.5 transparency. So if I set this to one, it'll look a lot more solid right along the border here, as you can see. But 0.5 gives it that nice blur fogginess in the background. So now let's create a simple header tag of an H1. And a class will be simple text shadow. And it'll just say hello world. And in my style.css, I'm going to add a dot simple text shadow reference the class. And I'll do text shadow. And now following our example here, I'm going to do two pixels, two pixels, four pixels, and then I'll select the color of something like, and I'll do 0.6 this time, 0, 0, 0, 0.6. And now you'll see it has this black radius background or a black background with a bit of a foggy looking background. And now we can combine both properties into a single project. So imagine a card with a title that have both shadows. And here's how you do it. So I'll go down and I'll create a div class called card. And now inside this div, I'm going to add a h2 with the class called full card title. And I'll just call this card title. And then under this, I'm going to add a p tag, which says, welcome to my awesome card. And now for our CSS, I'm going to, I'll scroll down a bit so it's not too much color on the screen. I'll do dot card to reference our card class and I'll do a width 300 pixels, a padding of 20 pixels, a background color of peach puff and a box shadow. That's going to be zero, zero, 10 pixels. And then I'll select the color black with a small amount of transparency. I'll hit control save. And you'll see a very small amount of transparency around the border here. And then for the card title, so card title class, let's do a text shadow of three pixels on each side. And then an RGBA. So we'll select the color, something like, something like this, something like a bit of a greenish glow or dark greenish grassy looking background. And there you have it. You now know how to add stylish shadows to your web elements with CSS. Experiment with different values to see what looks best on your projects. Don't forget to like and subscribe and check out my Patreon linked below for exclusive content. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next tutorial.